Ooh, it is cold today. So, what's today, Tuesday? And we got piles of editing to do, bro. We even got a new software. Well, it ain't new, but it's new to us, too. We're learning it. So, about to let y'all get a little dive in, a little look in about how we do this year. You dig natural thing, man. It's in, uh, it's alkaline. So, you know, it's got its natural, um, what's this? Oh, plus, this is vapor distilled. I didn't catch that, bro. That's crazy. I'm gonna have to catch that the next time. All right, now I gotta grab me my fruits for the day. I'll do like two of these. All right. Oh, but let me go into detail about that. So, y'all see, I didn't did a video about all these different colors, right? All of them mean something, right? All of them mean something. I've been messing with this watermelon water, right? From this company right here. But they are out, bro. They have been out for I don't know how long. See, this is the problem with Northern California, man. See, this is the problem we're going through right here. We're going through a little recession up here. You know what I'm saying? If y'all can donate, if y'all can uh, supply some funding, something, man. Because y'all see, we got all this other BS, bro. Like, all this other... With your best friend. <laughs> nah, you messing with you. So I usually start off with these presses, right? Whenever I warm up, I usually like to start off with these. Either these or a uh, Smith & Wesson. But I kind of want to do these today just because I like that pull. I like that push down on my uh, back. It's a different type of push, right, versus a Smith, right? Now, granted, the Smith still work and I'm probably gonna use it today still so don't take it don't yeah don't think I'm not gonna use it right pretty much uh, I'm just doing this so I can get like a nice base a nice little you know range of motion stretch out so it's pretty much ooh. or I can even do like a dead stop and I'll show you what a dead stop is I do these or do behind the neck presses or any type of presses I know you rarely see me do dead stops it's because it's more so well I only did them in my off season back in the day and then dead stops is really for them OG's right and when I say OG's that means you got that OG type of muscle and meaning you just got that real man muscle right or that real just strength type of muscle I've seen some females doing too you know what I'm saying don't get me wrong but it's like it's just how it's done though if you can really press from the bottom up and just uh yep time it is bro so once your hood look you got to come up out the hoodie first a lot of y'all y'all just come straight in without the hoodie no you got to come up out the hoodie man.
love about these behind and near presses, bro, is the fact that the nerds are not going to do them. You know what they're gonna say? This is what they're gonna say. That's bad for your shoulder. Uh, you you'll get a rotator cuff injury. You'll oh. get hurt doing that. Blah 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 blah. Meanwhile, here it is. I'm still doing them after I don't know six, seven, eight years going now. I think so. And then when I think of all the people who've done it before me, who's still doing it to this day, you know what I'm saying? So somewhere in between, something got mixed up. And I think it's y'all. I think it's y'all, right? Well, not y'all watching, but the ones who be trying to correct us professionals at this, right? When we try to say we know what we're doing, obviously, because it obviously works for us. Don't get mad that you don't know how to do it or you don't have the proper alignment to do it. It's just simple, bro. Simple, simple math. Yep. <clears throat> Here we go. This ain't for no rookies, cause we about to go straight out. Meaning, the elbow's not like this, not like this, right? Very, very different. Here we go. Yep, front lateral raises. One of the workouts I've said I was gonna do more of leading into next year. You know, get them manly shoulders. That's how you get them. And this is how I do them too. I do them two different type of ways. <clears throat> this, that. Like you really just trying to force it up. And then you got the... So I'm gonna do a little... I'm gonna do fives and fives. So. <clears throat> Actually, twelves. Six and six. These feel good. <clears throat> Lateral raises. Here we go. Come up.
<clears throat> bro, my shoulders feel like, bro, a brick ball right here. Like, look. You hear that? Dang, that thing light. <laughs> bro, that's how my shoulders feel. Like, everything else got a little jig to it. But this, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I swear to God, I feel like I, I feel like I can just sock somebody with my shoulder right now. That's how hard it is. It's just like stiff on another level. I'm talking about stiff to the point where you can, uh, what is it? You could step on it and I probably wouldn't even feel nothing. Like you could hit it, right? I'm knocking like a doe. I've had a lot of people ask me, how do I get the V taper? You know what I'm saying? Shape, all of that. It's the abs, you have to train them like directly. And when I say directly, I mean actually doing sit-ups, uh, leg raises, you know what I'm saying? Whether you're doing some type of farmer's walk, something to where you got them abs contracted fully, abs and oblique. So here we go. Yep. finish up the training now we get to go get something to eat bro like i said to my brother man you know for me it ain't even a workout that's hard no more it's everything else around it you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about like bro everything else around my workout is hard the workout is easy workout training is easy now it's just everything else around my training that's hard now you feel what i'm saying so it's like bro i just do what i can and just keep it pushing like everybody keep telling me, just keep pushing, keep pushing. So that's what we on, you know. Now we about to go grub. All right, now we back at this freaking janky old grocery store that never had nothing. I'm telling you, bro, this is the only grocery store where I'm at right now. That's why I'm trying to get up out of here, man. Somebody help. No, I'm just playing. But seriously, they ain't got nothing up in here, though. So, because every time I come up in here looking for what I need, and it's crazy. I get the same thing every time, right? It's crazy. I get the same thing every time. Y'all never have what I'm looking for. So I remember I used to be eating all of these right back in the day. Which one did I used to eat the most? Uh, so this was my go-to right here. It's flank, like a crack, like a janky, like a junkie. You know what I'm saying? I used to have that. Uh, ground beef, of course. Not none of that 85 stuff. You know, try to keep it lean, just like that, you know? So fun fact, right, when I used to come up, I used to eat these, right? I used to have this with rice, ground turkey, and what else? Uh, spinach, yeah. And there's nothing wrong with them, right? You know, a little sodium, carbohydrates, a little protein, low fat, but do I still eat these? No, I haven't ate black beans in I don't know how long, bro. It's Got that food. Thankfully, I still have some chicken left over, so yeah. For one, I get to start with this chicken and two, and I ain't gotta cook. Oh, that's a beauty. Ooh. Yes, sir, I gotta stay prayed up down here, man. Oh. And I'm also thankful, like I said, I ain't had to come home and cook, because I did not feel like standing up, but we about to eat. So we got this chicken, got our rice, we got our uh, spinach. And then I put a little bit ground, I mean, uh, garlic powder on that thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. All right. So, usually three times a day with this. And then, what else? Like I said, ground turkey. I might go back to steak. I was beefy as, bro, I was, bro. I was beefy as ever when I was on steak. Steak and rice. I was doing steak, rice, steak and potatoes, beef and potatoes. So yeah, I was a horse, bro. Couldn't, and then I was dense too, solid. Looked like somebody uncle, you know what I'm saying? Looked like Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, just like, even though he ain't had no muscle, you know how shiny his forehead was? Yeah, that's how my body was looking, shiny. You know what I'm saying? 
Ooh, it was, oh, man, I gotta get back to that. Mmm, time to get it. Oh, yeah, after this, we're gonna get some editing now. Sure, we gotta edit this one too. So, yeah, man, full time job. Let's get it. But make sure you subscribe so you can see more, and then we're gonna get back at you next week. I gotta call somebody.